Hey, welcome back. You might have seen my other video about the best antivirus, but you might want to know what the best anti-malware is. Well, the other video, which you can find in the top right, is going to help you stop viruses from ever starting. This one's going to be if you've already went over the edge and you might have messed up by not seeing my video. So we're going to do it. We're going to head over to Malwarebytes.com. It's a free program. There's no catch. You don't have to put in your credit card or anything. You're just going to go to the front page and you're going to hit free download. Now it's going to download malwarebytes3setup.exe, so let's set that download. Now Google Chrome might give you a message saying it's a harmful file, just hit keep. It does that for all .exe files, even though this is a safe and reputable vendor, you can look them up. They got clean reputations, they're a pretty big company. So now we're going to head over here. We're just going to run this file right here. Interestingly enough, I checked the task manager as I booted up my computer. And I think I might have a virus. So we're just going to go through this simple thing, you know, hit yes, accept, that kind of stuff. We're just going to go through, hit next, install. It's pretty straightforward. It's going to install it for us. Now, as I was saying earlier, I did check my task manager and found some rather interesting files, uh, processes, if you will, that are running in the back. And I do have some test samples, uh, test sample to test on. So we're going to hit finish. So this is how it's going to start out. You have a premium trial to start out with. It's 14 days. You don't really have to pay for anything, but it'll give you some basic stuff. You can just disable this or whatever. It'll go away. It's nothing great, but it's nothing bad. You can just pair this with Bitdefender, which you can find out in the video in the top right, and it'll do all of this stuff for free and probably better. But if you want to pay to have this real-time protection stuff, that's up to you. Now, I do have a test sample that we can use. It's right here, super sketchy virus. So what I like to use this program for is you right click, and you know it has all this stuff, and you can hit scan with malware bytes, which is super good if you like download something offline. You just want to do a quick scan on that specific file. I had a super hard time doing that with Bitdefender, so I like doing it with this. Plus, it's quick and it updates all the time. Now this file right here, it's not particularly like per se a virus. But it's definitely not something you want on your computer. So we're going to see how Malwarebytes reacts to this. I know Bitdefender has a very negative reaction with it and instead deletes it from the computer right away. So right now Malwarebytes is going to update its suite right now. It's just going to do this check for updates. Usually does not take this long if you update it say once a week. But you know this might be the case where with League of Legends it takes like forever to update right away. Now interestingly enough Malwarebytes did not pick that file up. Now something interesting, Malwarebytes does not default select this option that says scan for rootkits. Now I always recommend going into settings, protection, and turning that on because that's probably going to be your most common virus. Although again what I'd also like to say is that this file is encrypted so it should be difficult to pick up at first. Now I'm going to bite the nail here and just for you guys I'm going to run this file on my computer, my main computer. I might lose it all here and we're going to see if Malwarebytes real time protection does anything about it. I would like to say that I did some research on this and this is a file that's hard to pick up. It's encrypted. It's not exactly malware because it doesn't exactly do anything to your computer but what it does is it's a remote access tool which allows my friend over here to get full control of my computer if I run this. It's strange that Malwarebytes did not pick this up. However, Malwarebytes is known for picking up a tool like this after it's already running on the system. So we're going to test it with the real-time protection and see what happens. Oh, interesting. So Malwarebytes just disabled that random access tool from actually running with the real-time protection. It's real-time protection did stop it. Now, none of these weird files are actually part of the virus. Which, I mean, I'm gonna be honest, guys. My heart almost stopped when I ran that file there. I know that my friend here is not exactly some white hat hacker. He's a, he's, he's a black hat. So to see that Malwarebytes was able to detect that using the real-time protection is really good. So to recap, for the most part, you're not going to use Malwarebytes to get those day zero exploits. You're going to use Bitdefender, which you can again find in the top right or in the description. But you're going to be using this if you download a file off of like, you know, a website and you want to scan it for viruses that, you know, are easily detected. You know, to be honest, most hackers, if they're looking to hack most people, they're just going to put like an easy to find virus. You know, why spend so much time developing a super difficult to detect virus? 
I mean, if you realistically look at it, most people aren't using an antivirus or anti-malware on their system, so as long as the virus can pass Windows Defender, it's pretty good. You don't have to spend much more money than that. So I'd say, you know, having Bitdefender and malware bytes on your system is probably some of the best protection you have on the market for almost all viruses. Bitdefender would stop something like this before you even run it. But malware bytes can definitely step in for those easier to detect viruses that, you know, aren't encrypted. And additionally, this this virus right here has never been sent to Malwarebytes system, and Bitdefender did not pick this up at first either until I ran it a second time. So to defend Malwarebytes, it's not in their system, it's a new encrypted file made by my friend, but the fact that they picked it up with the real-time protection and Bitdefender already had this encrypted in their system the second time I ran it is pretty amazing. Okay, so actually what ended up happening... I was trying to save it in Google Chrome. Google Chrome was even blocking it, so I had to open up Internet Explorer. So now I just want to hit save on this. Wow! Do even a cup log by... Can I even download a virus? I feel bad for people that even try and make viruses these days. I mean, honestly, when your virus gets blocked by Internet Explorer... No, this is actually a special kind of file. Now, I've gotten one of these before an accident. I tried to download an image for one of my thumbnails. And, wow, Malwarebytes is already picking this up. So, some preface, I tried to download an image, make it look good for the thumbnail, you know, that clickbait, whatever. But, boom. Look at what could have happened. That's a ransomware, boys. Now, I'm just saying... I'm just saying, I could have lost that entire YouTube video. I could have never been heard from again. So if Malwarebytes can detect stuff like that, which even you could get, I mean, you could be in college right now, you could look around and accidentally... Now, if I remember right, I looked up something like this, and I went to find the image, it was like one of these or something. Not this one, but it looks something similar to this. And I hit save image, and unfortunately, I got that file right there. So at the end of the day, am I saying this is going to save you from everyday zero threat? No, but I'm going to say, you know, if you're just a smart internet user, you know, this is going to save you even in those cases where you're, where you're just thinking, this file seems weird, you know. When you try and make that clickbaity thumbnail, and it's not a .png, and you just have to double check things before opening it. That. Think about it. Anyways, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. All that fun stuff, but... Really, links to this will be in the description. It might help you. I mean, you don't have to keep this open all the time. You can just always keep it up as a backup plan. I recommend it for sure.